have five artists and a ton of kinetic sand. They will have five hours to make art out of kinetic sand and whichever one of them has the best piece will win up to five grand for a sibling or their child. My kids are about to be rich. Yay, sand! Is everyone ready? Yes. Start up the timer. Let's go get some sand. It's called sand because it's between sea and land. Huh? I think sand is land. I just heard it somewhere from TikTok. For those of you guys that don't know what kinetic sand is, let me give you a quick demonstration. So this over here is kinetic sand. You can go from soft to hard. Squeeze it. It's <laughs> oh, it gets hard when you rub it. If I win, I'm just gonna have to split the winnings with my siblings. Because if you guys don't know, I'm a triplet, so that's already difficult enough. It's a lot of siblings. Never used kinetic sand in my life. Feeling really confident about this challenge, huh? You're a child. Well, I have a twin brother, so if he wins the money, it's like I win the money. We can go pee really quick and I'll be right back. Maybe I'll find some inspiration in the bathroom. I want to keep my winning percentage up. I know it's only been one, but as long as it stays better than Nick's. What do you mean? This is going to be the first win. It'll still be better percentage, though. Wow, this looks it's really cool. Looks like Look at that. This is so fun! <laughs> So we are 15 minutes into the challenge. All right, I'm curious to see what they're working on. What are you making? I'm making an octopus, so this is gonna be like his head. How many times do you have to tickle in an octopus to make it laugh? 18. 10 tickles. <laughs> <laughs> I saw something online where they had a train and it's crashing into something. Ooh, that is cool. Ben literally asked me what I would make and I said a crocodile, so now he's making a crocodile. Inspiration. How did you get the green so nicely mixed? We don't even have a green. All I've been doing is just playing with the sand, so I've had a lot of time. I have no idea what I'm making yet. I'm trying to make a sea turtle. You're winning this for your kid, right? Yeah, one of my four kids. Which one? <laughs> hey, message to Ryan's kids, behave this week. I thought I'd be better because I have more experience from the last sand art. What's the better the last one? Place a bet on one of them. Who do you think is gonna win? I think I gotta go with Ben. If Ben wins, I'll give you five hundred dollars. All right. David places bet on me. I was my first thought that came to mind was he's dumb. I'm not gonna f win. Can I change my vote? No, you can't change your vote. You already chose Ben. If Ben doesn't win, our videographer will also get the losing punishment that I will announce a little bit later. I don't want to see David get punished. He didn't bet on me. I tried something, didn't work out, and now I'm behind. Big whoop. This what bug is saying. Subscribe, subscribe. Don't step on me. Wow, Jake has nothing. Wow. Like literally nothing. I have a great foundation started. Alright, we're more than 30 minutes in. I don't have a lot down, not gonna lie. Jake has nothing down, so I Jake feel a little bit better about myself. Alright, everyone look up at the clock. It is 420, which Bruh. means we have a challenge. Meet me outside. Everyone listen up. You guys have three minutes to make a sand castle. Best one gets an advantage. Go! I'm working fast, working hard. How did you do this? Oh. Three more sand. No. You guys are around halfway through. Come on, come out, come out. How do you have four walls up, Michelle? Three, two, one. All right, everyone stop. I'm looking for overall design and how clean the sand looks. I, I'd say design better than Nick's. Michelle, you have a nice design, but the sand doesn't look packed very well. Ooh, Ben, that looks cool. Jake, the sides are a little bit wonky on this. All right, I'm gonna have to give it to Ben. Let's go! Oh, David, I got you, boy. <laughs> Everyone head inside, Ben. I have your advantage. I gotta go back and work on my train. It's a little rusty. So you get to choose two artists and take away all their tools for 30 minutes. Uh, I need to see the artwork first. Look at this piece. It's coming together very nice. That needs to go. Yeah, it's not that good yet. You don't even know what's happening. You don't even know what's happening. What? But he is from his kids. So? <laughs> All right, Nick. What are you doing? You can't use any tools for 30 minutes. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, Ryan. I'm sorry I had to target you. David said screw your family. <laughs> <laughs> David cares about the children, but he cares about $500 more. Okay, so when the timer hits, three, 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 you guys can use your tools again. I feel like I'm winning this more for David than my brother, but that's okay. This reminds me of the other stand art challenge, and it sucked then, too. I'm gonna win. Sorry, yeah, not win. sorry. So, as you guys can still a bit for 3D, so I think it'll... Yeah, they just use tools. Dude, if you break the rules, there's a penalty. Right. Did you use it to smooth it out? All right, I'll be honest, I smoothed it out. So in half the videos Nick's been in, he's managed to cheat. We will be extending your time by 15 minutes. Yeah. Every time someone cheats, the penalties will become more severe. Everyone thinks I'm cheating? I'm not. I'm just, you know, bending rules a little. You know, I just want to win a crafts video. It's turning out a lot better. I'm working flat, but it's still a bit for 3D, so I think it'll it'll come out cool. Someone's getting a bit nervous, I can tell. I was about to grab that shovel. Can someone move that shovel? I'll move it for you. Zach. That doesn't count. Right, does anyone want to take a guess as to what the punishment is if you lose? Get pinched by live crabs. Crabs? Ew. If you guys lose, or David, if Ben doesn't win, 
You guys will get slimed. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna get slimed because I'm very confident. We just got slimed pretty recently and it was quite nice. It was nice and warm. I've gotten slimed before, so I'm used to it. There are two hours left and I feel like all the artists are making good progress on their pieces, but it seems like one artist is having too much fun and I'm a little worried he's not gonna finish. I think I'm doing pretty good, not working too slow. Watch me be a goblin. <laughs> I'm causing so much mischief. <laughs> Jake's just farting everywhere. I'm pretty confident, actually. So let's go take a look around. What are the thoughts with the texture over there? That was like a little experimental. I'm experimenting to see if that would look good all the way around. I'm kind of iffy about it. I don't think it looks very good. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. It's not even done yet. That is a chubby crocodile. A big fat boy. All right, what are you thinking about doing for your last two hours? I'm gonna just make it a floating face with wings on the side. So whatever you can accomplish in two hours, go for it right now. Because I feel like the more you put in, the, the more unfinished it looks. I just get carried away. I was feeling a little confident at the beginning of this challenge because I play with kinetic sand with my kids all the time, but it's not easy to sculpt stuff. The shape of my crocodile is looking really good so far. All I have to do is just add the legs and I just have to detail it. If the details are good, I'll have a good chance of winning. All of you guys have less than two hours left. I think it's the perfect time for a challenge. Raise your hand if you want another challenge. Too bad, because you guys are getting one anyway. It's challenge time. Better watch out for Nick cheating. Over there is a table of dolls. Each one represents one of you. You guys will have the opportunity to punish one person if you hit their doll. Michelle, if your ball hits Ben's doll, and you get to scoop something out of Ben's art. Who wants to go first? I'm Ryan. 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 All right, Ryan, do you ever play catch with your sons? Yes. Here's your kinetic sand ball. Who are you aiming for? Nick. <laughs> nope. Oh! Kobe. Oh, I, I think that hit Ryan. So you're gonna be able to scoop one out of Ryan. I'm right. not aiming for anyone in particular. Just don't aim for yourself, Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Oh. 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 There you go. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Yeah. 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 It was an accident! Yeah. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's get some scoops going. If Nick scoops my big turtle, I'm gonna be so mad. All right, Nick, so here's your scoop. Take as much out as you can with the scoop. I didn't do that bad. I really wish you would have just taken the head off because that would have been easy to fix. That we were friends, Nick. Wait, no, that's dirty. Hard. Oh. <laughs> Ben just yeeted turkey into space. I officially hate sand art. Here's the progress on the octopus so far. My legs hurt, the sand is actually kind of painful to sit in for super long. Ben, Ryan, you guys want to go play some 2 on 2 It's five minutes of 2 on 2 Zach, I have a challenge to win. Play one on one with Mackenzie. No, not after what she did to Michelle. <laughs> He's scared. Hey Nick, you want to go play basketball for 30 minutes? Yeah, sure. Let's go, Ben. Hey. All right, fine. I'm gonna shoot some hoops because I'm that confident. I honestly would have played basketball with them too, but I would never finish. So I'm gonna make the smart decision and I'm gonna win. Kobe! I hate this challenge. I hate sand. It's in places it shouldn't be. Kobe! Oh. That's it, I'm going to sculpt. Next time I'm coming with the basketball shoes. Dude, I'm sweating so much. I'm working on the teeth for my guy's face. I might have time to do wings, but we'll see. I finished my train. Now I am making a destroyed sand castle. There's 15 minutes left, and I feel like all the artists are really stressed right now and trying to finish their pieces. But I still have one more challenge for them, and they're not going to want to lose this one. Everyone, come right over here. Sit in front of one of these buckets. So here's what's gonna happen. So each one of you guys has a bucket of sand in front of you and a little shovel. You can't use anything but the little shovel to scoop up sand and place it in your bowl. So the first two people to finish can keep going. If you're in the bottom three, you can no longer touch your piece. You will have 30 seconds. Go. Oh, my God. oh man, no. Three, two, one. So what are you doing? Ben, how did yours break? <laughs> so going too fast. First up, we have Nick's. Yours is seven pounds. Ryan, yours is 8.8 .8 pounds. Oh my god! Michelle? Nine wow. pounds! 
Ben, 6.4 pounds. All right, Jake, yours. Whoa! I'm just kidding. Seven pounds. Ryan and Michelle, you guys can keep working. Everyone else, you guys are done. Uh, I was doing good up until I had to play basketball. I honestly don't have any motivation to keep going. I'm just gonna admire the team. <laughs> what? Why don't you give me the 10 minutes? No. Since Ben, Jake, and Nick are no longer able to work on their art, Ryan and Michelle have a serious advantage to put finishing touches on their pieces. For the people cheering me on, keep cheering me on, but I'll do better next time, I promise. All right, everyone, time's up. Let's start with you, Ryan. I just like doing wildlife, so I've done sea turtles before in paintings, and I thought it would be cool because it's kind of flat and I wouldn't mm -hmm. have to build up too much. I think each one of these little turtles represents one of your children? Yep. For some reason, I like this shell better than the main one. I feel like it's because of the curvature. Nice job, Ryan. All right, Jake, why don't you tell me a little bit about your piece? This is my character, let's call it Weasel. He's got green skin, teeth, and I see all the wrinkles. Jake, I'm very impressed. I, I feel like the tongue could have been done a little bit better, but overall, it, it looks very smooth and finished. Good job, Jake. All right, Ben, tell me about your piece. So I made a crocodile, his name is Gustav. And considering I'm not the best at sculpting, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Well, I really like how you did the top over here. I feel like you could have used the beige a little bit better and in a couple more areas. Good job, Ben. Michelle, tell me about your train wreck. And Turkey's not very good at driving, so he crashed into a sand castle. I would say it looks very interesting and cartoonish. I think the vehicle could have used a lot more work. Overall, creative piece. Good job, Michelle. Nick, tell me about this. Yeah, so I created an octopus. I think I got a lot of detail down for the amount that I actually did. The suction cups ended up looking pretty nice. I think the tentacles really look nicer when, when they're longer. Good job. Here's how we will decide who the winner is. I'm gonna go around and give it a score out of 10, and then we're gonna have a guest judge come over, give it a score out of 10. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. What do you think your chances are? Very slim. Not bad, right? I think overall it's a solid piece. I will give this one a six. I, I really like this piece. I'm gonna go with a nine. Yes! I think this is a cool piece, but I, I feel like it, it could have used some work. I, I will give this piece a seven. Michelle, it's cute. And I appreciate that you have a background like everyone else, so I will give yours a five and a half. Overall, very strong piece. I will give yours an eight. Now that everyone has their scores from me, just so you guys know, this is just my opinion. Feel free to rate them however you want. Mackenzie, come over here. As the guest judge, you need to have no bias. Don't about anyone who made it, even if they cheated. Purely looking at the art piece, what would you give this one out of 10? I would give it a six. Brian, your final score is a 12. An eight. I'll take it. 17 for you, Jake. 8.5. Ooh. 15.5 for Ben. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michelle, I'll, I'll give you a four. <laughs> Nine and a half for Michelle. Finally, Nix. 7.5. Which means Jake. Yeah. I won! So in our next video, I'm gonna pull you aside. You can win up to five grand for your siblings. They can split it however they want. You're welcome, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Roll the end screen. They're getting slimed. See you guys. It's in my mouth.